another use case we're going to observe between the Asana and Salesforce uh, integration uh, and connector is uh, sending over a case. So this is going to be looking at more of like the service side of a client or maybe account management um, of a client. Um, in Salesforce. So here I'm looking at a case. Uh, and on this case, I just have a, you know, a few simple highlights over here to the left. Uh, I've got my details under this tab. And what we're going to do is just send uh, a task over to an existing project in Asana based on some criteria. So uh, if you think about service, this could be used for escalations, uh, maybe client check-ins, uh, installations, maybe uh, setting over some type of troubleshooting event to an agent. Uh, what we're going to be looking at is specifically when a case gets changed to a working status and it has a label of custom development, it's going to send a task over to an existing project. So first, uh, let's go ahead and look at one item here on our account. So our account is best software. We're still looking at the same one. Uh, and we have a flow built that, populate, that populates the Asana project ID with the latest project that was just assigned to this account. So from here, you see that we uh, have the implementation project that was created from our post sales process. We have copied that ID to this field. This is not something you have to do. It's just to show kind of how this mechanism can work. Uh, and when we create a task, we're going to assign it to this account. Um, so if we look at our flow, it's going to be a pretty simple one here. Uh, if I expand this, you can see that we're triggering it when a record is created or updated. And our two criteria are, as I said before, the case needs to be in the status of working and the value needs to be or the type value needs to be custom development. Once that happens, we're going to create a development task. You can see here I've got uh, the name of the task. I've hard coded the, the project ID in here. I don't need to do that. I could just have a reference to my field in Salesforce as well. Uh, and then I have the S object or the object that I want the task to get related to, which again is just the account. You can see here I could include a rich preview. Uh, so this would mean, you know, certain fields that you want to include as a, as a preview over into Salesforce on the task, as well as an assignee. If you've got like a, you know, a certain person who handles escalations or something like that, you can obviously hard code that uh, assignee in as well. Um, so looking at Asana, you can see that we've already got our one sample project here created. Uh, so we're just going to use this again as an example. And if I come over here, Back to my case, I'm just gonna click into it. We're gonna go ahead and change this from new to working. Now, once I've done this, you can see that the development task, best software um, just pops up, doesn't have an assignee, doesn't have a due date. In Asana, you can you can add automation as well. So you know there's maybe some type of alert that you want to go out for this. Uh, maybe you want to flag it as high priority. There's a lot of different things you can do. But essentially, what we want to show here is just that the flow and uh, connector can be used in various scenarios. Right? We looked at a post sales scenario. This is a client service or customer service type of event. Uh, if you have some type of uh, workflow within your organization where you need to send multiple tasks or have some type of template that gets fired off of a case escalation or something like that, you can do that as well. Uh, but we simply wanted to show a task getting sent over, not a whole project. So you do have that option uh, if we're looking at Flow Builder one more time here to send a task rather than a entire project, but you can see here, I, I chose the create Asana task Apex action rather than the project for this scenario. Um, so that's a, a overview of a service uh, application for this integration. Uh, again, a lot of different use cases we can cover here. Uh, we're gonna do one more in this series and we're gonna show uh, Asana 
uh, in a in a marketing light from setting up a campaign.